Hey y'all and welcome to my video. Um, I thought I'd take you along just for a little, it's not really decluttering, but a bit of an organizational task because I still haven't popped my winter shoes in here and swapped out all my sandals for the winter shoes. So I'm going to be doing that and I'm going to see what fits in here um, and which ones to keep out and which ones not. And yeah where they exactly are either i know there's one pair in the storage cupboard oops excuse me uh, great mm. well okay i really want to fit my boots in there anyways it's also a bit of a task to see um how much space i will need because sandals are obviously a lot smaller so then like boots so this is just gonna be more of a like what do i actually want to wear most of the time i guess so let's just pull these out oh i should have gotten some sort of wipe just to give that a quick wipe out either i love my sandals Sorry to keep you waiting, but like the thing is, if I start editing a video, it takes me 500 years. I don't want to keep you waiting because I'm new to it, and then you get tempted to procrastinate because you think, oh, you know, I'll do it when I figure it out and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Oops. I'm not even. <laughs> uh, I can't remember if I even pointed at what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Let's just let this dry out. Um. Seriously, these rugs, they keep you see, uh, losing the hair all the time. Okay. Um, where to start? It would be best if I could prop you up somewhere. Also, I don't know how long this will take me. <sighs> right. And I'm least sure about these because I have to be more selective. But I'm just least sure because these are good for this weather and at the same time, not so much. And this is England where it rains all the time. I think these are quite, um, um thingy. Summary. Oh dear, yeah, they need a clean. Can you wash these? I see people wash them. That's weird. Um. Also, I wonder if the, this would be a good time to declutter my shoes as well. But I don't want this to be a hundred years long for you to get bored um i think what i'll do is um take everything out well these it would be awesome if i could end up propping them in a corner on the top because yeah, I, they won't really fit in here, will they? And even if they do, they would take up a lot of space, I think. So maybe not. Yeah, not a great idea. Um, let's pop these in the corner for a second. I feel like, where can I put the camera? <sighs> okay. You have to excuse, but this is like one of my first videos. <laughs> what is this? Okay, that's my that's like a cleaning product. Okay, I'm wearing one pair, so I I don't need really two of them out. But 
maybe I'll just quickly do this and then tune back in with you. Can you pause this? Is this a pause button or what? What is this button? Yeah, no, that wasn't a pause button. Um. Okay. Like here, Also, these are like quite summery boots. I feel like I need to clean all of them. Okay. I'll do this first because I started the video. And then I can clean these after. Or should I clean them now? I need to plan my videos. Well, I would clean them first. But I don't want to like... I don't want to have a part 2 and part 3 and part 4. So I'm going to finish this organisational task now. Okay, these are like jelly sandals. So the other ones we saw from Crocs will go in there as well oh, when they're clean but now I'm just going to do that let's see also uh, I thought these are my palladium box no this is palladium okay so I'm going to put it's just that okay because I feel like I have more winter boots but also they're like I feel like for autumn, these kind of shoes are good, and really thick boots are good, so you have like more for the colder months, and then they're also bigger in themselves, whereas sandals, you can do obviously what you've just seen and know for yourself, like this. Please don't tell me my battery's low. Ugh. And then I've got kind of... I know, I don't want to drag this out now because my battery is low as well. Humble Oak, they're really pretty, Della. Okay, um, I feel like maybe I should... I can't even... It's not even light. Okay, okay, see. These are also really pretty. These are great. But... There's one pair down here. that I'm going to, this is like, I wear these like nowadays all the time, they're kind of the warmest ones, so I wonder if I should go through all of it and then decide what to do and then take you along in a part two, and I said in one a million parts, these are so pretty, I never got to wear my shoes, um, it's just that, like, well two parts will be fine I guess. It's just because I keep thinking back and forth, this video will be a hundred years long. However, yeah, these are so nice. I have so many shoes that would be okay or good for this weather. Um, I think the most logical thing would be put the most wearable ones in there and then I can always open it quickly and grab them like those pink ones. And these they have a really warm one, and then like, uh, see, I'm not sure. Some of these shorts I didn't have last year. Also, the only downside would be shoes like this that I actually really love but reach for less because I kind of think they're kind of s too good for everyday wear. I don't know, I don't end up wearing them a lot, and then there's even they're a bigger, it's like a bigger waist. So, should I keep these here or not? And um, that's a question. And Doc Martens, they are so pretty. Um, I love these. They were, I don't know, I feel like I'm in between their sizing. I'm in like between two sizes. So I put these insoles in, but then that, the insoles are open. Because they're like leather insoles. You can't really see, sorry about that. I love these. I do. So I kind of want to put some shoes in there that I want to reach for more. Um. And I think the first thing is just to take all the shoes out and remind myself what I have got. Mm, yeah. Okay. I think these are just. They are the, the same colouring as those, pretty much. But these are from Topshop. 
I love these. I was after them for years. Don't open. Open. See, I'm a finish. Yalla. Okay. One hand tends to be mm, not as helpful as two hands. Okay, see, they're so pretty. But they're kind of too hot for summer and then they have these, I don't know, mm, these holes that make them kind of really cold as well in the autumn. And I'm just not a heel person, as pretty as they are, so this is like my only heel pretty much. So no, as much as I love the look of some heels, I will never reach for them. So, but obviously if I keep them in these boxes, then I'll reach for them even less. Um, well, I think it's a good place to start to see what I actually have. Canadians. I love these. Wow. Actually, the summers can be quite cold in England, so it's not really a problem to have shoes like this or that. Which are kind of warm and cold at the same time. Because you think they're warm because they're quite high, especially those. They might look like boots to you, but when I actually wear them, they're not. They're not. I don't know. They're not as warm as the other ones. They're like good boots you can wear for style purposes when you don't actually want to sweat your feet off your body. So. Yeah, I have so many shoes. I mean, I just realised I have a lot of shoes. Um, I just go through them. What's in? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I saw these before. Okay, okay. What was in here again? LOL. No, these are empty. I think these were in there. So maybe I can swap them out. Yeah. I kind of offered them to my husband. Because I know he needs like, like how do you call them? What do you call them in English? Like house Uggs or something. But um, are they too girly for him or what? Probably, because these are girly. They have hearts and pink on them. But I don't know if they're too big. And I was like, I I kind of made the mistake of wearing them again, and I don't want to make them too big because my feet are bigger than his feet. But anyway. So I don't know if, should, if I should leave them out for him in the emergency if like his feet are really cold. Yeah, because I'm not sure if he said that I can wear them again because he didn't want them in the first place. Or because he knew that I was asking him that he thought that I want to wear them. And I don't know if I'm making sense right now. Um... I mean, they're not very manly either. I'm not saying that manly, but I think if your feet are freezing until you find something, I think they look unisex enough. I think they were unisex in the first place. I don't even remember. Yeah, I love these. Again, I think they're kind of... Maybe they're just summery, wouldn't they? I think what I'm going to do, what makes more sense, is the, the colder ones actually are in the boxes. And maybe ones they won't reach for a lot, and then try and find the ones which I'll read for reach for the most, and put those ones in there, and maybe do a good mix. What I'm definitely gonna put in is these. Um, I might do something like this, or maybe the ones I just shown you. Where are they now? The 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 white. Where are they? Nope. Nope. Um. These beige Clark's ones. Um, are they in here? Oh my gosh. Yeah, these ones. Um, or maybe some good mix. Like, always have something at the ready if I quickly want to grab a pair of shoes and quickly go out. And then at other times. Yeah, I'm not sure because. Kind of a pity. Yeah, maybe these ones I'll put them there as well. So I do really like them for and these are like you know when you have a lot of shoes and don't remember all the shoes you have. So these are the ones that always come in my mind as autumn shoes. 
It's just that this heel is already, I don't know, it's a high heel for me. Like, it's not a high heel, but it's not the most comfortable heel for me. Yeah, I know, my feet aren't spoiled. But, my mum is very conscious about not ruining your spine at an early age, and that's a good thing. So I would wear the best shoes, and then when I, like, was, like, on my own in London and wore, like, whatever... It really had a bigger effect on like, my, I don't know, skeleton and feet. These are pretty. I love these. Yeah. Also, these are kind of just sentimental. I don't think I'll like reach them again. I actually bought them because I loved the old ones, the ones I had, and they got ruined. Um, so these can definitely be in the hair. So I feel like I'm going to separate these. Maybe I should make a part two then. Oh. Why why do we have this? Why do we need to keep this? Do we need to keep this? Do we need to keep this? I certainly do not. I need to ask my husband. I need to ask SN if um like he needs those. And then um, yeah. I'm going to ask myself if I actually need this, because then I should actually use it. I have another pair of this. I like another pair. Another. I have the second one. Somewhere. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, I actually bought the wrong colour and they actually said it's like light pink and I was so excited that I did end up still finding those. And then they were like a pink that I don't like so much, but I really love the style and the make and I really love how comfortable they are. They're actually so comfy. And so I have like too many of the same now because the same thing happened two times and it looked pink in the picture but it ended up being silver. So I'm not sure. So there might be things I could maybe sell on and things. But they're so comfy. And I know these are sandals. My Bama sandals. Ooh, ow. <laughs> the elastic just snagged. Um, yeah, I love these. They started looking out, but you can just kind of cut, give these things a trim. They don't really need that old, actually. And also really comfy, and they're like gladiator sandals. And I love those. And Bar is a lovely brand. They may, they take care of your feet, don't they? Also, if anyone has any like vegan leather recommendations that are like really still really good for your feet that would be awesome to read in the comments because i there's either like non-leather shoes but all the leather like i feel like all the brands that are really good for your feet like Ber uh, birkenstock and all the brands clark's echo they're like they always use leather obviously so it's a bit sad um what do I do now? Um, does it actually make sense to put the most wearable ones in there? Should I take a break? Um, I think it does, doesn't it? And I can put the ones which are still kind of potentially good for the winter weather or autumn at least um to the top where I just kind of don't think I'll reach for them like as much and then they're easily grabbed although the other thing is I don't know that isn't the most stable and it might be a better idea to put the heavier ones to the bottom But I think it'd be okay to put them here. And then I'll just put the two boots, which have now been thrown onto the floor, up here. And then I can obviously grab them anytime I need them. I think it sounds like a plan. And I think I will charge this phone and I will make a part two. Because this is longer than I thought. 
and you can let me know because normally normally I'd, I I always wanted to know how people make their choices and this was what I most struggled with so I guess I wanted to show everybody how I thought and why I chose to do what I did but I don't want to bore you and make this video an hour long so if you'd love to if you'd like to let me know your preferences be very interesting to see how other people think and get some inspiration for the next one um and help me shape this new um channel yeah and meanwhile should i declutter my shoes because it's kind of at a stage where it still feels like i really have a lot and not got the opportunity to use or to wear all of these and not got the occasions I should be saying however I don't really see any that I don't like I love them all and I they're all usable wearable I don't see anything that's where I think oh yeah this needs to go I mean I'm kind of happy to part with these potentially just because they weren't best quality but I just got them in the boxing sale on Christmas which if you don't know that because I know in some countries they don't have that. So the second... Is it a second? Like this, the last Christmas day, they have a massive sale on, which... I don't know, it's pretty disrespectful, really, to, like, the Christmas celebrations. Literally, the um main Christian celebration where we celebrate love... And, you know, being together and we give people gifts who we love and we care about, so we want to spend time with them. But what these shops do is drag us over there and kind of make everyone crazy about money and sales, which, I don't know, it's a bit disrespectful, but it's also a really good bargain. And we don't have that in our country, in like, in Germany, so definitely was interested and you can literally get the best bargains. But you can also die in the crowd because it's so full. So I grabbed these and they were reduced to £6 at next. And I really love the colour. I had seen them before. And I was like, when they go and say I'll get them. And then they did. So, But I didn't notice they had this little impairment here. Now they've obviously gotten really dirty. But, I can, but obviously I can clean them. That's not really a reason to kick them out. However, I just saw this thing. This little bug here. A boogie. You know, what do they call this? <laughs> a booboo. Yeah, that booboo here. Okay, um, so um, I kind of would be willing to part with them in terms of just to push myself to get rid of a bit more. But I think what I'll do, because, I mean... The quality wasn't so great, but like, they were just an awesome bargain, and they are really lovely. So maybe what I'll do is just kind of wear them, like, one more summer. They'll probably start, you know, kind of getting some more impairments, and then I will kick them out. Um, yeah, this wasn't meant to be a decluttering video. I'm just thinking, these were actually tighter than I thought, because they're a size 8, and in Clark's, I am a size 8, but... They do not really, they don't feel like any other size 8 at Clark's I've ever worn. They feel more like a 7.5, so. Mm, I have some shoe widening things. Yeah, I'm a bit torn with it, but I have reached with them a couple of times this autumn already. And yeah, just need a good old clean. And I'm kind of, mm, I mean, they're good quality shoes at Clark's. I don't want to. Yeah. Hmm. Um maybe that's but maybe that's something to consider while popping them back to see if there's anything more. And obviously like I told you this is what I meant. They literally looked pink, light pink in the photo. But then they turned out to be so well. But they're so comfy. Um I think that's the plan maybe I should do a part two then and then just show you what I did or 
So you just keep going until the battery dies. So what was this? This was like, okay, these can go to the bottom. I just have to remember, and normally I do the cleaning first, obviously, because but now I'm taking you along and I've already started this, so I don't want to bore you with like cleaning shoes. But um, for sure, I'd suggest cleaning first, just because then you can make sure they're all clean and nice and new for like the next season whenever you have to swap them back around. So yeah. And you don't get tempted to say, oh, I'll do it another whenever I'm free and then not do it at all. If you've already done it before even putting them back in. So that's pretty much why I definitely want to clean the first. No, oh, don't tell me. He's coming home. No. If somebody's coming home now, then I'm doing this tomorrow. Talking about privacy, okay. Like, if anyone comes in, I'll do the part two next time. Yeah, this is actually. Hmm. I wonder if there's a better solution for this. I feel like we can go through these and see if there's anything we don't actually need anymore. Like, why do we have this? And these should be in the shoes, really. So I'll see. And also, I know that there's some more in here, so why are there, like, two places? I know, like, I swear I had them all in there at the beginning. I don't know why there's two places, but maybe maybe then that leaves more space for other things. Um, yeah, these are kind of... I feel like in Germany this would have been autumn me shoes, or late summer shoes. But here it's, like, cold enough... When it's rainy, but when it's rainy, it's too wet for fabric, and I don't know. These could be maybe in here, because this could be like a road tool. Where it's like, probably not till next year, but maybe. Yalla. Okay, these definitely till next year. This one too. Oh, what did I have in there again? Guys, okay, okay. Yeah, this could be like a... It's, it's, uh, no, it's not. It's, uh, yeah, these could be like for um, autumn. Because remember, these are the Top Shop floral... Um, kind of like... I think, are they like biker shoes or what would you call them? Um, and these are also quite good for autumn. So this can go in here. And then there's another thing... Obviously, like space wise, how do you make the most of the space you have got? Because now, I'll tell you what I mean. This is like wasted space. So maybe can this go this way? Um, yeah, almost. They just made it like a millimeter too small. But I can figure that out later when I know what I won't wear. Palladiums, maybe here, which doesn't fit in, maybe there, right, um, okay, excuse me, but, what, these beautiful, these ones, can I see, so pretty, it's kind of funny to me that, no, this and this, have got the pretty much exact same leather design but are from two completely different brands i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pop this in here also i actually never had to do this because we moved in here this year so um i never i never checked how many of this shape of boots that take up as much space as boots would actually fit in something like this because I've only had to put um you know my sandals in so let's see but I'm gonna just wing it roughly estimately probably these two will fit and then maybe another pair like this I don't know if that's too light because they're quite thin as well so but for now what I'm thinking is put these in here I 
kind of, I don't know, put them somewhere. Uh, why is that so loud? Yeah. Mm. What was that? Which one is it? Humble Oak. Humble Oak is so beautiful. I love them. I feel very stylish and classic in them. But I don't have 